Hi everybody, this is Renee from Paramount Solutions in Orlando, Florida. We are a small, privately owned psychic service. We book psychic readings by phone. We have excellent readers who work with us. We specific, specifically look for clairvoyant readers who are very visual in their readings. They do past, present, and future. But we also have many psychic mediums who work with us. Um, the psychic mediums are, are psychics who actually pick up on energy in the here and now. It can come through in you know words, phrases, numbers, um, just many different symbols, different things like that. And then they actually translate it for you from the other side. So it's kind of a neat way to get a rating. And especially um, if you've lost somebody, you know, maybe try you know to be able to communicate with them or at least know that they are, their spirit is at peace. Um, psychic mediums don't really ever choose. Sorry about that, I'm just having a little bit of a technical difficulty, but hopefully that's gonna keep going. Um, but psychic mediums do not pick and choose which energies come through from the other side. It's basically there's certain energies that'll show up and some of them are gonna be stronger than others and then they help kind of translate who it is and then what sort of you know things are coming up with that. But a psychic medium reading is a very interesting reading and it definitely can be very informative and it can definitely give you a lot of peace of mind. I think that that's what a lot of people who get psychic readings with a psychic medium they are ultimately looking for some peace of mind and just, you know, just sometimes it can really help with grief or just with other things going on in your life. It can definitely help. But we wanted to talk about signs that you might be a psychic medium because we get a lot of questions about this on how somebody would know if they are a psychic medium. Um, we also have different videos on if you know that you're a clairvoyant, how do you know that also? However, with psychic mediums, um, it is definitely a little bit different because they actually can uh, bring their energy up to a level where the cross energy can actually come down a little bit on their level of energy, and then that's where they get the, all the symbols and phrases and all the different energy and, um, and you know communication, for instance, from somebody who has crossed. So it is definitely an interesting reading, and we do rec recommend psychic mediums. Um, so some, I have a lot of different ways that you can possibly tell if maybe you are a psychic medium. Um, you'll remember when you're very young, um, Many who are naturally born psychic mediums, they actually, um, which you can be born a psychic medium and you can also keep continuing and honing your skills as an adult even to figure out how to help communicate, but it's a matter of, that'll take many years of practice and also many years of getting to know yourself and how to do that. Um, when you are young as a child, your energy is different than when it's older. And it's mainly because as we learn things, we don't maybe necessarily believe them as much when we're older. We have a little bit of skepticism. So, but when you're young, the energy is very pure. Your energy is very pure as a child. And then it, sometimes it comes through a little bit easier for children. Um, I know that there's been members of my family that have had their kids sitting on, on the edge of the bed, just talking to somebody. I know that, um, you know, just many different ways that psychics, psychic mediums actually start as children. And actually it's really, really interesting because you know, they just, they have, children have such pure energy and that's how they actually can do that. Plus they're also closer to, um, you know, getting their life. So they, their life source is actually coming from a place where they can actually do that. Um, many psychic mediums, a good sign of psychic mediumship is actually that they have anxiety. Um, a lot of times it can be really unexplainable anxiety and it can be very, it can be very, very difficult. Um, a lot of this anxiety also, that's kind of, kind of come in in the teenage years. And I kind of believe that this comes from a place where you start to doubt yourself because when you're a young child, you know, you're not necessarily doubting it. You have your, you know, your mind opened up to the possibility that something like that could happen. But as we get older, we might get a little bit more skeptical or question. And when you question an ability like this, sometimes it can kind of be really um, kind of scary and it can kind of cause you anxiety. Oops, I forgot to turn my phone off. Let me put that on there. Michelle's actually working right now booking, so anybody who's a, who's a client, just know that Michelle's a booker. Um, anyway, I think I'll keep going on. Um, so somebody's getting a reading, obviously. Um, so anyway, if you have a lot of unexplained anxiety, it can definitely be a, a sign that you might have an ability as a psychic medium. And we definitely encourage anyone who's going through a lot of anxiety or something like that to go ahead and explore the gift because, you know, it really is a gift. And we don't want anybody to be afraid of the gift. We want you to actually embrace it and make it part of your life. Um, you really might not understand the gift of a psych being a psychic medium until you have some sort of spiritual awakening. Um, sometimes it can happen where something crazy happens in your life or maybe a, diff a difficult time, um, but you will have some sort of spiritual awakening that can actually 
maybe open your mind a little bit more to the ability and to actually have you slow down and, and just really hone in on it um, and to do a lot of research and figure out how it happens. Many psychic mediums also do not sleep very well and a lot of them wake up around 3 a.m. because um, it's basically thought that the the divide between the spirit world and our world is actually thinnest at 3 a.m. And so many people believe that at 3 a.m. if you wake up to a pay attention to your first thought that could definitely be some sort of message or sign that you need to, you know, that you need to pay attention to. If you can or if you have to, just take, you know, definitely keep a journal next to your bed and just write it out really quick in the middle of the night, even though it might be a word or two, it might help you out during the day. Um, so definitely if you have trouble sleeping, you know, or wake up around 3 a.m., we definitely want you to check it out. Um, let's see. When you, okay, here's another one. This is a big one. When you're at a cemetery amongst old furniture or belongings, among old buildings, or even in a town that has lots of history, you will kind of feel an electrified experience. Um, it's definitely uh, can be very, very confusing at times, but once you realize, you know, that could be part of your gift, then we do encourage you to, you know, check it out and go further. Um, a lot of the energy at old places that, uh, for instance, like Gettysburg in Pennsylvania, um, a lot of the places where there's been a lot of souls that have crossed are actually very, very difficult for psychic mediums to go to. Um, I think that we all want to go to them because we're, you know, we like to explore different, you know, places and, and definitely that's a really interesting place to go. But many people that I know that are psychic mediums, ooh, they are terrified of that because of all the energy. Um, so old cities, sites of disasters can be very, very difficult to deal with because of the energy if you have an inclination for to be a psychic medium. Another one is that psychic mediums also see shadows out of the corner of the vision. Even when there's nothing there, they're like, wait, I thought I just saw something. Um, but it could also be a little flash of light, something like that, that can actually be maybe a spirit that's maybe reaching out to you. Um, feelings for psychic mediums can actually be overwhelming at times. This kind of goes back a little bit to the anxiety. When you hear somebody's passing, sometimes you can get a little piece of that and it's just, it can be kind of painful and difficult. And so psychic mediums, a lot of times, um, well, I'll go, I'll go the rest over that later, but in this, because it does come along to a lot of psychic mediums like to have a lot of uh, solitude um, because a lot of times when you, when you hear of something that happened, you can almost physically feel it. And so it can be kind of very, very difficult. So overwhelming feelings is a sign of a psychic medium. Uh, natural connection with animals. Um, animals are very pure in their energy. And so Many times if somebody has um, an inclination to, of a psychic medium, they're very, very in tune with animals. And it's very interesting, cats, horses, dogs, um, reptiles, whatever animal you're into, um, definitely you, you feel a connection, a real solid, good connection with the animals. Um, sometimes, well, actually every single psychic medium that I know identifies as an energy person versus somebody who's just on concrete data. Um, they do make decisions based on energy and they feel energy and that's how they kind of, it kind of, you know, molds their life to say, um, mold your entire life because that's how you experience life. So definitely, um, if you are, um, identifying as an energy person, uh, you really may be kind of a natural born, some sort of psychic actually, that can actually be many different types of psychic abilities, but definitely psychic mediums. Uh, sometimes also the psychic medium is related to somebody who has the gift. Um, for instance, if your grandmother had the gift, it is believed that sometimes it is, it crosses, uh, it skips a generation and goes to the next generation. So for instance, grandmothers and grandsons or granddaughters, um, sometimes, or even grandfathers and grandsons and granddaughters, sometimes it skips a generation and it goes on to the grandbabies. So um, if you're related to somebody with a gift, sometimes it's, that's kind of a good sign. Um, let's see, you must, as a, if you, if you think that you're a psychic medium, you must make time for yourself. Sometimes you are a bit of a loner. Um, and it's, um, this is mainly because you're trying to protect your energy and to not feel so much energy all the time. Uh, so it is important to be able to find some sort of ritual to help you clear the energy. Um, some things that people do are uh, meditation, um, saging or smudging your house, uh, salt baths, 
Eucalyptus essential oil, even the eucalyptus in your home is very, very good for clearing negative energy. Um, lighting white candles um, will help bring in positive, good energy. And then, um, but psychic meetings get so much energy and it happens around the clock, which is why they get insomnia, which is why they wake up at 3 a.m., which is why they have anxiety. Um, it's important to find a way to clear that energy in order to live this way. And it's very individual for each psychic on how they do that. Um, and many psychic mediums are actually loners and live in solitude because of it, because the energy can be just so overwhelming. Um, psychic mediums generally do not like crowds or groups of people because the because of the strong energy and it's very overwhelming. Um, also, some a good um, sign of a psychic medium is maybe somebody who is an old soul, soul and or um, you know maybe somebody who just is somebody who just is really grounded type of person, have a natural wisdom, um, and you give good advice. That's definitely a sign of a psychic. Um, it can also be a sign of a psychic medium. If you have any questions, we'll be here. We would love to answer questions. Um, we would love to help you in any way. If you would like to get a reading, we would love to help you. Please call us at 1-800-966-2294. And definitely check us out on our Facebook page at Psychic Readings by Paramount Solutions. Or on, I think that a lot of people watch us on YouTube, actually more now, which is also under Psychic Readings by Paramount Solutions. We really hope that you have a wonderful evening and a wonderful week. We hope you take care. Take care. Bye-bye.